We are living in strange times. This year has been like one giant reset button for businesses around the world. No longer can we rely on outdated marketing funnels, tone deaf copywriting, or one size fits all SOPs for ROI. You gotta pivot and fast. So here are five copywriting and marketing strategies you must do to stay alive and thrive this year. What's up guys, it's Alex and today I'm addressing a question that I've received a lot lately. How do we as copywriters, marketers, and business owners pivot in response to the global pandemic and other tumultuous social and economic events of late? Ah yes, pivot. The business keyword of the year that has taken on a rather different meaning. A slight repositioning? No sir, more like total emergency management. <laughs> as we all know by now, companies have been forced to either swiftly adapt to these new market shifts or risk going under completely. And for many businesses, going digital has proven to be the ultimate pivot. Payoff. In fact, online sales have peaked to the highest level in history, increasing by over 40% in just three months since the pandemic was officially declared in February of this year. But of course, it isn't just enough to modify operations. The shift also needs to happen when it comes to your marketing and messaging. Let me tell you, there has never been a better time than now to update those autoresponders, revisit that five-year-old sales page, and rewrite your customer service documentation. Because what worked then is most definitely not gonna work now, at least not as well. Now more than ever before, you need to empathize with your customers, cultivate a deeper connection with your audience, and humanize your brand. Now that's not to say you should change your entire story and voice. Your brand is ultimately the essence of who you are, what you do, and why you do it, and that's not likely going to change overnight. However, there are some significant ways to adjust your messaging and marketing so that you can stay relevant as you navigate these strange times and move towards the new normal. These strategic innovations can make this a wildly successful year for you, and I am here to help. For more tips, tutorials, and ideas to uplevel your copywriting and marketing this year, make sure to subscribe to my channel below and ring that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Now here they are, five important copywriting and marketing strategies to keep your business thriving right now, with some fun and unconventional examples included, of course. Strategy number one, address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am here to say that you must address the big COVID-shaped elephant in the room and face the issue head on. The worst thing you can do is simply ignore what's going on and continue with business as usual and just hope it all goes away. In this day and age, the market demands transparency and authenticity from the brands they buy from. So while sweeping it under the rug worked for our parents and grandparents' generations, it's not gonna fly around here. Now listen, I'm not saying that every single post and email and piece of content you write needs to be about what's going on in the world, but to dodge the subject entirely would seem tone deaf or inauthentic. I mean, how many of you got emails in your inbox days or even weeks after the world went into lockdown that were clearly automated and scheduled before the pandemic? Let's just say that KFC's finger licking good ads were pretty fricking bad after the outbreak. <laughs> Keeping your messaging current and consistent with what's going on in the world and what's going on in the minds of your customers will help establish trust, relevancy, and relatability. And it doesn't always have to be all serious, guys. If your brand language is usually playful and uplifting, there are ways to keep that brand voice intact. Take Poopery for example. Yes, for those of you who are not aware of this company, they are a poop positive brand that produces pretty smelling toilet sprays. Yeah, you heard that right. It's a thing. Poopery is known for their punny ads and commercials taking toilet humor to a whole nother level. If they had tried to take a more serious approach in their recent messaging, it would have sounded totally forced and off brand. Throughout the lockdown, they kept their marketing and content light by making references to quarantine life, keeping your bathroom hygiene in check while working from home, and even having a positive mindset with their hashtag let that smiling pile of poop emoji go. <laughs> oh, and one more thing, now more than ever, make sure whatever messaging or news you're sharing is accurate. With the amount of conspiracy theories and unbacked opinions and fake news circulating online, it's important that your brand delivers facts from reliable sources. All right, strategy number two, prioritize existing relationships. So one of the best things you can do right now is invest time and energy into strengthening your relationships with your current customers and clients. According to a recent study of nearly 300 top marketers at US-based companies, despite the economic turndown, customers are prioritizing trusted relationships when it comes to their buying decisions, even over lower pricing. Which makes sense because trust and connection are among the driving factors sustaining morale as we adapt to the current climate. According to the same study, 70% of marketers believe that customers are also motivated by the social activism, outreach, and investments of the brands they support. 
So let's use a surprising example, jewelry. You would think that jewelry would be among the least prioritized purchases right now, right? Well, while the market definitely has taken a hit, many luxury and independent brand names such as Bulgari, Asprey, and Tiffany's are donating proceeds to COVID-19 related causes and increasing outreach to their current clientele. As a result, and of course also given the canceled travel plans, postponed investments, and just an overall decrease in social expenditures, loyal customers of these brands are now more inclined to purchase jewelry for their sentimental value to make up for the sudden change in lifestyle. Yes, we are talking about an audience that falls in a higher income bracket, and no, this doesn't mean that jewelry brands are raking in more profits right now than normal, but these efforts are keeping these non-essential businesses afloat during this time and clearly indicate the value that can come from having a strong relationship with your customers and clients. Strategy number three, step up your game on social media. So what do customers do when they're confined at home with fewer work hours and minimal outdoor activity? They look to their cell phones for a taste of life outside their bubble. Remaining visible throughout the pandemic is critical to building brand engagement and value, retaining current customers, and connecting with prospects. Social media is probably the most important tool for marketers to achieve this. In fact, according to the study I referenced earlier, 84.2% of marketers say that they've used social media for brand building, and 54.3% say that they've used it to effectively retain customers during the pandemic. So for example, as museums and galleries around the world were forced to cease their operations, the Getty Museum in California launched the Getty Museum Challenge, daring their followers to continue celebrating their love for art during lockdown by recreating their favorite artwork using objects found around the house. <laughs> the campaign was a great success with entries that went viral for their humor and creativity, lifting the mood of viewers around the world. All right, strategy number four, make your marketing relevant. Making your marketing relevant to the current circumstances and lifestyle of your customers will give you a great advantage, especially if your products revolve around activities that are now restricted or banned temporarily. For example, we see a lot of changes in the restaurant and fashion industries. Besides moving to delivery and pickup options, many restaurants have also taken to the grocery approach and are selling their dishes as frozen meals or even meal kits for people who prefer to cook it fresh at home. And fashion labels have adopted creative ways to position their products as loungewear, at homeware, or remote workwear for the frequent Zoom caller. Brands like Zara even had their models photograph themselves in their spring and summer collections in home environments. And festival wear makers I Heart Rave switched up their game by presenting their clothes as fun lingerie and funky loungewear. I just love a creative pivot that works. And finally, moving on to strategy number five, meet your customers wherever they are. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, empathy is a key advantage in times like these. What would be some of the more unique concerns and pain points that your customers have right now beyond the obvious? How can you use your copy to resonate with what they're going through and how they're feeling? And more importantly, how can you be of service without making conversion your utmost priority? This is also an invitation for you to revisit your customer avatar profile and make some updates to your customer support messaging. Based on the characteristics and goals of your current ideal customer, think about what their life looks like right now. What challenges are they facing? What is their stance on what is going on in the world and how can you back them up? What can you do to address their needs and desires best? For example, given the sudden breakdown of the travel industry, nearly 90% of travel marketers have slashed their budgets. Airbnb was quick to offer financial solutions to their hosts and connect them with potential guests in very different and unique ways. So Airbnb hosts can now offer online experiences, activities and classes such as art, cooking, meditation, and virtual tours for a small fee. By doing this, Airbnb is also paving the way for a new definition of travel, fostering humanity and diversity by helping travelers discover new destinations and cultures from a distance. All right, guys, there you have it. Five marketing and messaging pivots for staying relevant in today's environment. Above all, remember, it is oh so important to keep a growth mindset during challenging times like these. Remember that change is constant and that pivots are needed for growth. Yes, the current global situation has made it a little bit more urgent with very little time to adjust, but these unexpected innovations can lead to success, longevity and relevancy. I've had so many students, clients, and mastermind members tell me that their business has taken a huge leap this year because they can finally focus on what matters and let go of anything that's not working. And guys, I am here to help you do the same. So give me a thumbs up below if you found this video helpful. Coming up next week is the video that many of you have been waiting for, my own step-by-step -step method to critiquing a sales page. Make sure you subscribe right here so you don't miss it. And next up, check out my video on five mindset shifts to build a six-figure writing business. You can watch that right here. Until next week, I'm Alex. Ciao for now. Or rewrite your customer service. Rewrite. That's a hard word to say.